to show you guys about the shell, the shelling option. So we have a simple, okay, I'm just going to do a simple box. So I'm going to go here. I'll start from the center. Like I like using the origin lately. Zero, zero, right? And now we have a box. So let's make this box the same number that we had on, on the assignment, which was eight by tab. By how much? By six. And the height was two. Let's go put our orthograph view. And we notice that we have a actual solid piece here. We agree? Now I'm going to show you guys the shell option. The shell option can be found where? Under solid, under shell. So what does the shell do? Anybody want to take a guess? It makes something hollow. All right? So in this case here, if I do shell, now it's telling me select the 3D object. You have to read the command line. This is very important. If you do not read the command line, you will get lost, like somebody in the front row. You click on the actual box. Now it says here, do you want to remove faces? So if I don't want to remove faces, I, don't, I press on nothing and I press enter. Now I put a distance of 0.25. Does it look like I did anything? In reality, yes. Once you do it, it's important that you guys go back and put 2D wireframe. You notice that I have the shell inside. Some of you guys had did the shell, thought you exited the shell, and then you told me the shell didn't work. Why? Because you already had done the shell. So it's okay, it's not the end of the world. So that's one option like that. The other option I want to show you, let's take this box here. Actually, let's undo the box. Okay, I have the box again, right here. Now I'm going to do, put it back over here so you guys can see it. Go to shell option again. This time, again, I click on the box, enter. Now, again, I'm reading, oh, I went too fast. Shell, click on the box. Now it's saying, which faces do you want to remove? So in the example I showed you guys, the side face was removed so you could see in the box. So how do we select that face? You're going to go with the shift and the mouse uh, scroller. You're going to pan around, and you're going to make sure that you click on the face. Now it's easy. Sometimes it may be tricky. Sometimes you may have to do the undo, rotate again until you get that actual face. In this case, I got it the first try. I press enter. Now it's telling me to set a distance. For the distance, I put 0.25. Press enter again. Enter again. And now you notice I have my shell in the box. If you notice, it's only one face that I removed that was completed. Easy? 0.25 is the thickness right over here. It's removing, just keeping 0.25 and then getting rid of the, the other one. Okay? Now let me undo that again. Now let's do like the assignment hat. So in the assignment, it had the, the square like this. Then it wanted you to do a cylinder on top. Okay? What's the diameter? It's 5. So I go diameter, 5. And the height was 1.5. Okay? Then I wanted you to do another one cylinder on this face here. If I want to draw on this face and I'm too lazy to do the front view, top view, how would I draw on that one face? UCS. Then I go click on face. Then I go to that actual face I want to draw on. Click on it. Now it's saying, do you accept how the X and Y are? Do I accept this one? No. Why? Because the Y and X are flat. So I can press next. Now it's showing me, again, no good. Next. Now it's perfect. I have the X and I have the Y perfectly aligned to that view. I press accept. Now I'm drawing on this one face. I could go again. Cylinder. Right? I've been using the same technique. I don't know if you guys noticed. Where I go control, midpoint between two points. I select this point here. And I select this point here. Of course, there didn't work. Let's do again cylinder, control, midpoint between two points, between this point here, this point here. And now I'm in the middle, because it's exactly in the middle. That's why I did that. Now it says that the diameter, diameter D is 1.5. The distance is what? Distance is 1. Now 
not have the piece. So what you can do now, if you want to do a cheap way, is you can make another cylinder, subtract. But why waste that time? When all you have to do now is if I do union, select all these pieces together, enter. Now they become one piece. So when I go do the shell, and I click on the 3D object, see everything is highlighted. I click on it. Now it tells me to remove the faces. This is a little bit more trickier. I hold the shift. I hold the pan again. I grab one face. Go to the, the front circle. Grab the second face. It worked nicely. The third one. Oh, it worked first. There's going to be times where you click and it grabs the wrong face. You have to press the undo button. Go again. Press the undo button. It's going to be times where it's going to frustrate you. The one time I thought it wasn't going to work, it worked. So I'm happy. I press enter. Distance. I put 0.25. And now you exit, exit again, and now you notice I have the perfectly good shell throughout the piece like in the photo. I have the shell on the top, right on top, shell at the bottom. In this case here, I know that the, the hole goes through the top and the inside. If I didn't want the hole to go through, then I don't union them. I do the separate thing like we did before, a cylinder go 0.25 offset inside, and bring it down and stop on the top of the cylinder. But in this case, we don't need to because we know it goes all the way through. The last one now is called taper edges. Do we know what the taper edges do? What it's going to do, it's either going to go in and taper it out either in one direction or the opposite direction. So in this case here now, we're going to go, press the home view again, what I should do to get back is I should go back UCS world. So it resets my UCS. I want it to go back to the normal one I had before. Now I'm going to go back, rotate my camera like so, and go into look at this cylinder right over here. I'm going to go do taper faces, right? Now it's select, telling me to select the face. In this case here, this is my face right over here. Oops. Undo. Did I grab the face? No, I grabbed the inside one. There we go. See, you have to sometimes rotate the view back and forth until you get that actual view you want. So now that's the face I want. Shift and pan, enter, spacebar. Specify the base point. Am I going to take the back or the front? What do you think? There goes yours. What is it, the back or the front? Does it make a difference? No. If I take the front to the back, it's a negative. If I take the back to the front, it's a positive number. So in this case here, I'll start from the front. And I go all the way to the middle, right here, of this guy here. How do I know it's the middle? Because it's the center of that circle. I click. Now it tells me specify the, the angle. I'm going to put 10. I'm going to try 10. If 10 doesn't work, I'll go negative 10. It's going to go the opposite way. Press Enter. Oops. 10 went the opposite way. So now I'm going to do undo again, go again, taper faces, grab this face here, select it right away, enter, base point, same thing we did before, the center to the center, this time I'm going to do negative 10. Enter again, enter again, and now you notice that it projected outward and that's the piece. I go click on the 3D view here, and I have this beautiful view. All right, so that was what I showed you, the shell, and then I showed you the taper. So now let's go quickly and do the sole view, so draw for this one piece in this video for you guys. Let's go format A, do like we did before, viewports, four equal, press OK. Go to this corner, go to this corner. It gives us four beautiful views that we want. This case here, I can make this my, is this a good angle for this projection? No. So I should go back here and put it as my southeast. Is that a better one? Yes? Because then this will be my front view. So it's pretty good. Okay. So in that case, we'll go back 
to the southwest. This works as well, but then this will be our front. So that's what I mean. It's going to be the shells going to show in the hidden. So that's the only difference. Okay. But for now, I'm going to keep it at southeast because I like the southeast view. It has the least amount of hidden stuff. I like this one. Okay. And we go back like we did before. Now I go here and I choose my front view. Click front. This is the view I want. I go choose a scale. Double click out. Click on the viewport. Viewport. Then go choose a scale. If it doesn't work for some reason, as you can see here, just do MO and go here and change the scale. I think 1 to 10 would work. 1 to 10 worked pretty fast. Wow, it went right away to that number. 1 to 10 works. So that's good. I go to this one here. Viewport. Change the scale. 1 to 10. Oh, I did annotation. Sorry, that was which was that before? One to one. One to ten. It doesn't look like it's moving. We're having some technical difficulties over here. Okay, we'll fix that one afterwards. If it starts being a little bit mean, it's okay. So what I do now is I go back, I go to this view, and I could erase this view here. I could erase this view here. I go back to soul view up here, ortho, click this corner here, go up to this point. Perfect. Right in the middle. I press enter. Then it says make a viewport from here to here. I don't have my snaps on, I turned them off, but it's okay. From here to here. There's my beautiful view. And now I can call this my top. I could just call it top or I could top top view. I'll just call it top so this is easier for me. Press enter. There's my top. Now, if I want, I could go escape. Do again, so, so view. Ortho again. This time I'll go the other way. I'll go this way now. I'll go from this one right away and switch it over here. Right? There's my right view. Enter. Make the little box around it. Okay, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Click. Now this is going to be my right view. Okay, And now I'm going to go back, enter, erase this view that I did before. The reason I did that one last is to show you something different. And also the boxes are already there for us. Go back again, solid view, ortho. I can take either this one or I can take this one. There's no difference. I take this one, bring it here. I have that one now. Press enter, call it my, oh, make the box around it, sorry. Getting too excited front view, right? Now I have my three views. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to select them, like so, and go to solid draw. Select again. Enter. And all three are done. I could see right off the bat that there is a shell because you see the hidden line going across. Easy? Then I start doing the annotations and so forth. I go back. What's the last step I should do? I should lock the viewports. Then I should go back in this view. Make sure it's 2D wireframe. 2D wireframe. 2D wireframe. There you go. This one here, I can go back in this view here. Change it to hidden. Is that clear? Then I fill in, double click out, fill in the title block, what I need to fill in. Once it's done, I press print, same, we're done.